Welcome back to another exciting trip. We enter into the Mololan Gate, into heaven on earth, that is, the Kruger National Park. We haven't been driving long before we come across our first exciting animal. Oh man, oh man, does it feel good to be back in Kruger. Yes, we're here at Birkendal uh, Rest Camp. Haven't been here in years. I hope it's as good as I remember it. So we're going to finish cam setting up our camp, putting the rooftop tent up and uh, enjoying the sunset. It's been quite a day. Good morning. <laughs> what a great night. Yes. There's nothing like sleeping in a rooftop tent in the middle of the bush. Best sleep you can get. Absolutely best sleep you can get. And then waking up here in the bush to find out hyenas have been walking around the tent, around the car. It's supposed to be fenced, but don't trust that. Eh? So if you're walking around at night, Keep your eyes out. Uh, today, I plan we're going to head up to Skukuza. Which way? I don't know yet. Uh, we'll probably just make it up on the way. So let's see how lucky we can get. A week before we arrived, Kruger experienced some major flooding, and as a result, the only road that we could use was the main H3 road between Bechendal and Skakuza. We've come up to one of these, uh, what is this thing? Massive rock lookout point. I actually don't know what it's called. Like a place to stretch your legs and actually get a nice view of the, the area around us. Yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna walk down one of these paths. Last time I was up here, I watched hyenas walk past here, so don't think I'm gonna be that lucky this time. But who knows? So let's have a look. From this view, for as far as the eye can see, is the wild bush of the Kruger. Yeah, it's definitely time to head somewhere to find breakfast. We're getting some hungry people, angry people in the car. Yeah. Come animals. Baby, 
Let's go cruise the camera. It's time for like a break overlooking the Sabi River. Oh, I had to think about that one. Yes. Back at camp now. It's been a slow but a good morning game drive. Uh, didn't see as much game as we we're hoping, but the temperatures definitely skyrocketing, and <laughs> a swim is needed. So that's where we're heading now. Gosh, that was necessary. Oh, feel like a new man. Now I can sit back for a cold gin and relax for the rest of the afternoon. A lot of campers tend to throw food over the fence and as a result the hyenas walk up and down scavenging. So keep a torch close by and keep an eye out. And it's not just the hyenas you must keep an eye out for. Time for a game walk. Let's hope this gets juicy. <laughs> We're walking like in a light, single fight. So avoiding walking shoulder to shoulder because if walking shoulder to shoulder it might disturb hearing. And there are some messages, audios that you need to Going on a bush walk is one of the best ways to see the bush and learn about the landscape that surrounds us. If you have never done a bushwalk before, I highly recommend it. We mostly stand their ground. So if we maybe continue approaching, that's when they will start running. Yeah. After our walk, it was time to swap a game vehicle for a beautiful Defender.
as you can see, we're moving into a, a bungalow now. There's a, a tropical cyclone that's moved into Mozambique and is heading for us. So because I've got mom and the girlfriend, we're going to move into here just to keep everyone happy, dry, safe. It can't be in the rain, it's horrible, so this will be a win. <laughs> Time for a night job. Let's see if we can see those things we never ever get to see. Hippos spend all day in the water, trying not to get burned by the sun, and at night can walk up to around 50 kilometers, grazing on as much stuff as they can possibly get. Good morning. Today's plan, we are heading to Lower Sabi. Uh, not to stay, for, just for a nice long game drive. Unfortunately, the dirt roads are still closed, so we've got to stick to the main roads. But yeah, Tropical Cyclone Freddy is starting to make his rounds in here. Yeah? The wind has picked up. The skies are a bit grey. So let's just see how well the game viewing is going to be. Fingers crossed things get a little bit better and we see something cool and exciting. Come along. Leave a comment below on what your dream sighting would be. So we're stopping off here at one of the picnic spots between Skakuza and Lower Sabi because the road to Lower Sabi is still closed due to the recent floods that just had. So we're going to pour a gin, make a sandwich and just enjoy the views that we have around us. Great lunch. The storm is definitely on its way back in. We've got a long way back to camp. Uh, what's the time? It's probably about half past two. Hopefully we can get back in time. It's gonna be close.
Let me know in the comments where you think I should go to next and if you think I should do a solo trip. As the rain started to fall, our luck changed for the better. I've been told that these two are brothers that just won't join a pack, but are very successful hunters. Man oh man, what a day to end a trip. Started a bit of slow, it was raining, the wind was pumping. But then it just started opening up. So elephants, wild dogs, hyenas, leopards. That's how we finished the trip. Might have been slow, not the greatest sightings, but we got to see it all. And I think that's a successful trip if you ask me. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you like and subscribe and come join the adventure. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to never miss out on an adventure. A big thanks goes to the guys at Geolando for always making sure my land is in the best conditions for any trip. If you own a Land Rover, you must definitely check them out.